Right, is it coming there recording? All right, so all these bits, this is all honey, except for this yellow stuff. The yellow stuff is the pop, uh, their pollen that they use for food, like so that's all their storage supplies. And although there looks a lot now, there aren't that many bees that leave the hive. Most of them actually stay in there. It's only the ones that go out to hunt for the pollen to feed the rest of the colony. And over here, if you're looking here, this, this is the brood that I took from that one. All right, it, <laughs> it was meant to be, that was meant to separate the brood from the super. The super is the top part of the hive where the honey it normally collects. So that is half of the brood and it's like a spiral configuration. And the one that I've put in the other hive, that's what they call the advancing front because it gets like, um, you, can, you can see where the spirals go. So, this part here was the bottom of the hive. That was the bottom. So it's not meant to get the honey in it. It's supposed to have the brood in it. And this part here, this is the top of the hive, which is meant to be, that's what they call the honey super because there's, there's three sections to it. Now, with a fork. now just check this out. All right. Just look at that honey. Look at it. Huh? Fucking magic, isn't it? Get it. But see, there's also a lot of pollen stores in there, and they need them to keep them warm because unlike honeybees, they don't have the um, what do you call it? The the body mass to keep themselves warm. So you don't ever 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 split the hive and steal the honey if it's cold. But when it's hot like this in summertime. And when you've left it for a couple of years, maybe three years, not that I have, just telling about a friend, you, you can do both, especially if it's so congested, because if you don't, they'll go and live in your fucking hot water meter box, or they'll move out, and they'll leave you, your little, your little non-stingy, bitey friends will leave you. And yeah, okay, they're dropping in there, but you just sift it through a strainer when you put it in your jars. And, the, oh, see, see, and that's pollen. See all the pollen? Mm -hmm. And the sticky stuff, all this hard, hard stuff, that's um, propolis. It's like the glue that they use to hold the hive together to keep out any predators because they're all attracted to this honey. And because they're so little and tiny, things try to eat them. They try to eat me. So it's just fascinating. Fascinating stuff. So you can poke, 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 and get all the honey out. And, ouch, fucking bit me on the ass again, little fucker. Um, you can do something with the propolis. You can actually, you can um, heat it and get all the impurities out. And they put it into capsules and that, and it's got many, many, many beneficial effects. It's just, I don't know, it's magic. But look at them, look at the little critters. See, they're trying to get into their pollen because they know that something's gone awry. And they, oh, we must, because they're the ones, the one, these ones that are out, they're the ones that take all the food back to the ones inside the hive. And I don't know if I'm just talking shit now, but it sounds a bit Alan Shulish. Yeah, but the pollen, you want to give them back the pollen because that's their food. And they flew a long way, at least 500 metres. And for a little guy like that, 500 metres is like going from here to friggin' Sydney. Just in a morning. And they do that every day just to get food for the hive, but to feed it and build it. And when you split the hive, come back here, when you split the hive, you meant to, like, you got to look at the brood and make sure that there are, because you, you need a queen. You need a queen for the hive to be successful. And see these little, this is to my understanding, um, I don't know if you can see, see the, the white ones there, the little white cells the, that are, you know, standing out. Can you see them on the camera? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can see the oh, white little oh, dots. Actually, actually, they I look know. like little... Yeah, see that huge one there? Mm-hmm. 
that's a queen cell so it's a potential queen because you know the broods often like they'll they'll live in a hollow tree branch and the branch might break or something like that so they'll have to have standbys or backups and that is definitely i'm not sure about the little white ones but that one there this one here right there that's definitely a queen cell so we know for certain that this brood here will get its own queen so that's all good so the one that i've just put away um i didn't check for that I was, they had lots of white ones but see all this this is this is the propolis and it's as hard as like it's really really hard and it, it's so sticky and that's what they gum up all the edges of the hive with to keep out predators so as soon as you put them in there they'll start working to gum it all up and to like glue it all together and even in their little hole like the little holes here see the little hole they're going in and out of right there even there when they have they make tunnels they make like a tunnel in there out of this propolis and they'll make a tunnel that leads to the brood so that they can have their soldiers on the walls of that defense system because they're very industrious and, and look at all the honey that's leaked out it's just it's just fucking amazing anyway haven't got another hive yet and this one's obviously as you can see it's just wrecked so i can't put them back in that because it's um it's been compromised mm. so just for now i'm going to put them in this little esky because it's a little bit insulating it's very hot at the moment so they need that as i said they they can't keep warm they need all this these stores to keep them warm as they need to keep them cool as well because they don't have the um the body size so i'm going to keep them in here for hopefully only a couple of days until we can make or get another hive to to put it in properly and you don't i've got it on this sack because if you leave any honey on the in, on the outside of it, it just attracts the predators. Ah, oh, I just burnt my glove. Doesn't even drive. So it attracts the predators, and they're very they're very very easy prey because they have no defence. They they don't sting. They do have little nips at you. That's why I'm wearing my fancy outfit. But yeah, but look at this. Look, look, look. All right, so. Anyway, I don't want to break more of that brood because I've already broken it in half to put in the other hive. So I'm going to put, look at all the honey on there. Look at that. Look at all that. It's just fucking amazing. But you can see it's broken. So I don't want to break it. I don't want to disturb them any more than I really, really have to. So I'm just going to leave that there like that. But I'm going to put, I'm going to put all, see that? See all the pollen? That's bee pollen. That's natural Australian stingless bee pollen. The benefits of that are just more than more than you can possibly even imagine. Oh, look at that. I think there's even a predator in there that they've... Oh, no, no. No, it's just a different colour. But they do. They encase them. They encase them in, um, in their propolis and their pollen. And you will often see... That's, I think, how um, you get fossils in amber because it's fossilised bee pollen or propolis or something. Oh, I just made that up, but it sounds good, doesn't it? All right, so we'll put more of this in because this is their tucker and I don't want them thinking that they've been neglected. Oh, look at it, look at that. Ah. Oh. Fuck, it looks like honeycomb cheesecake. I wish we'd just eat it, but it wouldn't taste like that. All right, so put that in. Now, you've got to really, really try and not to disturb them as much as possible, which looks a bit fucking counterproductive while I'm doing this, but I want to give them as good a chance as I possibly can, so I want to take as much of the original hive out but there's so much honey in here it's been left for far too long so if you ever get a beehive don't be a slut cunt like me and leave it this long I mean like angel I mean predictive text you know what it's like but yes it's so 
sticky and just so amazing and 